Hi, this is Jay from Jay's Photography and Design once more with another tutorial video for Photoshop CS3. Uh, the previous video was very basic, uh, very simple with automated features in Photoshop. I told you we might get a little bit more advanced. This is another uh, fairly simple procedure to put a vignette uh, around your photographs. So um, what we have here, we have a, a photograph that I have already adjusted the lighting. In fact, with this one, I added a little bit of soft focus. Um, we may be able to do more with this later, and I, in fact, I can show you how to do the soft focus later. But today, what we want to concentrate on is putting the vignette around the picture. Um, a vignette is something that adds enhancement, not always, but most of the time. You can put a vignette, and it makes it work really well for you. So we're going to start off showing you really simple what we need to do. First off, over here in the layer palette, if you'll go down to the very bottom, the little button for a new layer, you want to click on this and create a new layer. Now, once we have the new layer made, what we want to do is we want to take the selection tool, select a rectangle kind of in the center of the picture here, such as that right there. Now, once we have that rectangle selected in the middle of the picture, what you want to do is you want to feather the edges. Uh, with this particular image, this comes straight out of my camera, um, so you're going to, have to play around with the numbering of the feathering. In fact, uh, we can find out the image size. This image is uh, uh, 2048 by 3072 pixels. Uh, like I said, this is straight out of my camera, so uh, yours may be a little bit different sized, so you're, you're going to have to play around a little. But what you want to do after you make the selection, you want to right click in the middle of the selection, and you'll see Feather. This is where you may have to do a little bit of playing around. I have it set for 250. Uh, you can change it to 100. Uh, you can change it to 50 whatever you want to do. Play around with it. Uh, it. It's something that's just your personal preference. Here I want to go with 250. Once I have that feathered, you can see it has a nice little oval shape now. Once I have that feathered, uh, you want to right click on the outside area out here and select inverse. Now you'll notice how we have this whole outside section selected around the center. Now if you'll go over here and get your paint bucket tool, select your paint bucket tool, make sure you have black selected here for your main color and just click to fill that selection. Now we have a very harsh looking vignette uh, but we're not finished. We're going to take care of that. Uh, go up select and deselect. That way we have it selected we get uh, rid of our little uh, uh, ants or our little lines around the selection there. Uh, now that we have that deselected, we get to see the, the vignette and how it looks. Over here in the layers palette, you'll notice if you make sure that the vignette layer is selected, then you can change the opacity of that vignette layer. Just simply click here and slide the slider down. Once you slide the slider down, you can watch as the vignette becomes to lighten. Once you have that to your desired effect, which we're going to leave at about 75. Once we have that there, you can see how your picture looks over here. Now, we like that really well, but here's another thing that I like to do. Get your eraser tool. Make sure and uh, you can play with your brushes up here. We want to make this brush a, a semi-soft brush here. Um, for instance, we're going to leave that at 20%. Now we're going to change the opacity level of our brush. So go up to the top here. We're going to slide this down here to uh, somewhere close to 20%. There we go. Now, once we have that brush selected, what I like to do is just click a few times here on her face. Now make sure that you are on your vignette layer. If you're on your vignette layer, what you'll be doing is you'll be erasing that vignette one click at a time there or on her face. So if you got a little bit of the, you know, the dark on her face, the top of her hair, 
you can kind of get rid of that. You can zoom in close with a smaller brush if you want to get detail, but I like using a larger brush. It makes things a lot softer. Uh, just, just keep clicking until you get it to where it, her face is brightened up and it really kind of makes it pop because it leaves a little bit of the background area here uh, with the, the dark vignette. So now that we have that, uh, it, it's pretty well as simple as that. Um, you have your basic image. If you go to your layers palette, you can turn the vignette off. You can turn the vignette on to see if the desired effect looks good to you. It's, uh, it's all in personal preference. Um, again, you can also change the opacity level if you want to lower that vignette even more just to give you a, a little bit. Uh, there we have it at 53%. Now you can see what it looks like there at 53%. There it is off. So uh, just play around with that, uh, change the opacity level, uh, change the, um, the percentage of the feathering. Um, th there are several different factors that you can, you can do there to, uh, to achieve your personal desired effect. Uh, so again, I hope this helps. Um, this is the second video in my tutorial series. Uh, all very basic. I don't claim to be a, a master Photoshop technician here, but um, if, if you want to learn a little bit more uh, on YouTube, there is a uh, uh, like Photoshop Mama. And um, if you go to my channel on there, you can subscribe to her videos. And she does a lot of retouching as far as glamour retouching and uh, other stuff of that sort. I don't claim to be the great glamour retouching, but I do know a few little uh, tricks and tips to help people out. Uh, visit my webpage at jaysphoto.com, and there you can see some of the other stuff that I do. Thanks for watching. Until next time, have a great day.